Good morning and greetings to us all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome again to everyone who are joining us for our online devotion this Saturday morning, the 27th of November. Hoping you've had a good night's rest and ready for what the Lord has in store for you today. Our verse this morning comes from Psalm 1-3. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Psalm 1-3. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall, shall prosper. Nguayen, tolata ia moyakau, wa to ke he tapa he tau bailele, to fua mai ke he hana tau fua, ke he tau ni hana, to nakai mokunu foki hana tau lau, to monuina foki a ia ke he tau menaosi kana, ke eke e ia. Samon o ia foi e fa pei o le la au o toto i tafa tafa ane o vai tafe e fua mai o na fua i o na lava tau e le to ulu foi o na lau e manuia foi me a uma na te faia ku kailen e tau aia ki te rakau i tanu mia ki te pai kau vaida ko te ua i tona ra tuata uti kai E ko te ikore roa i mai tō nā rau. O tāna katoa e ravera te meitaki i raia. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Psalm 1 is a psalm about two types of people, the person who lives in God and the other one, the person who does not have God in his life. Whichever pathway you choose will determine where you will be in God or without God. Yes, the first part of our verse reads, He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. This is a picture of our life when we obey God's word and follow in his ways. You know the song, read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow, grow, grow. And right here we can see this picture of growth. As the psalmist declares, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. What a beautiful picture of growth here. God's will and desire for you and I is actually to grow in Him. To grow in His Word, to grow in faith, to grow in prayer. In Luke 2.52, it tells us that Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favour with God and man. In other words, Jesus grew spiritually, physically, mentally and socially. And you know, we're to grow like that too. Yes, as our verse begins by saying, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You know, that means that the root of this tree is embedded deep and securely in the ground because it's planted by the rivers of water, meaning that it will always have, or rather it will always be growing and it will produce fruit. Furthermore, it says, its leaf shall not wither, meaning that this leaf will never die. This is a beautiful picture of our life. And right here, it tells us, even at the latter part of our verse, whatever he does shall prosper. 
Again, this is speaking about growth and God's will and purpose for each and every one of us is actually to grow. Peter picks this up uh, in one of his epistles when he writes, Desire the sincere milk of the word that you might grow thereby. And then later he speaks about to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. The thing is, there is a foundation whereby this occurs. And that foundation is actually the Word of God. You know, that's the foundation that we need. And in verse 2 of this psalm, it actually it goes, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. From verse 3, then, the verse that our uh, uh, verse for this morning. So there were actually things that the psalmist did prior to this verse in order for this to come into being or into fruition. So this morning, once again, we're just reminded from the Word of God that this is what God actually desires of us to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. The beautiful thing about this, if that is the case, then there will be fruit. There will be different seasons, but there will be fruit. And also the fact that whatever he does, he shall prosper. Yeah, God's desire really for us to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, again this morning we just want to acknowledge your sovereignty, Lord, here, but also throughout the whole world. We thank you again for your word as you remind us this morning and that you encourage us to be like that tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Thank you, Father, for reminding us of this truth that really you desire us to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so today, Lord God, we just want to commit everything into your hands for your leading, for your protection, but also for your blessing to be upon each and every one of us, for those who will be going to work, for those who will be at home, our elderly, our widows, our children, and also for those who are sick at this time, for those who are in need, whatever their situation may be. Heavenly Father, we especially pray for your undertaking and for your enabling to be upon them at this time. And Father, we pray too, again, for your mercy and grace, but also for your spirit of peace and also patience to be upon us all as we continue uh, to live and to move and to have our being this day. We especially ask for your covering to be upon us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, uh, please uh, continue to to obey the rules and guidelines of the alert levels that you're in and uh, for tomorrow's service Reverend Sola will be leading us for our Sunday morning service which will be online yeah God bless take care keep safe until we meet again tomorrow morning with Reverend Sola <laughs>